the dog. Like, in those moments, why call me? Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me today throughout my morning, um, let's say until around lunchtime. If you are new here, which I'm sure a lot of people are new here. My name is Caitlin. I am a stay-at-home mom of three. I live in Ontario, Canada, and this is what I do. I take you guys along with me throughout my days to show you what my life is like as a stay-at-home mom of three. I just dropped the boys off at the bus, so they're off to school today. It is gonna be a hot day. It was really weird. Here's my third little munchkin. Um, yeah, so I dropped the boys off at the bus, and today is gonna excited it is gonna be hot today they say heat wave i think it's just summer but they love to just like over exaggerate about absolutely everything but it's going up to 30 today which is gonna be hot it is 21 right now but it's raining so it doesn't actually feel that warm but it's supposed to stop raining pretty soon and then get nice and hot which i'm not complaining about i'm fine we have ac you know i gotta make myself some breakfast i've been doing really bad with not eating before the gym and then going to get groceries oh. after the gym and buying candy and stuff. I'm gonna go feed my mama. This is Abby. Say hi. Say hi. No, she just turned seven months. She doesn't say hi yet, but soon. My munchkin. Do we look alike? Ow. Yeah, do we look alike? People say she looks Asian. I think she looks like me. She's my twin. You my twin girl? I think so. All right, let me go feed her. I'm back now. Abby is napping. I got her to sleep. I fed her and then I got distracted watching TikToks. Have you ever just like gone back on your whatever social media, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok and go back? I went back all the way to when I first started TikTok, which wasn't that long ago. It was like last year, last summer. And I was watching the baby. Oh my gosh, she was so little and I can't believe. Whoa. Is there a thunderstorm going on? There was a huge flash of lightning. I don't hear any thunder though. I always feel like I see lightning, but I feel like I'm tripping because I don't hear thunder. Anyways, it's 8.27 now. I just took so long laying in bed because I got distracted. And I still have to make myself some breakfast and I have to make... There's the thunder. See, I'm not tripping. Um, I thought that like on days where it's hot and there's thunderstorms that like could turn into a tornado. I don't see any tornado warning so I see it says squall warning. I don't know what a squall is. Squall warning. Oh, heat warning and squall warning. It says a squall is winds gusting up to 35 knots and frequent lightning are expected or occurring. Take precautions. Precautions? What precautions am I supposed to take? I have to go to the gym, so. So as long as the squalls leave me alone to get to the gym, I'm good. I'm gonna make myself a coffee. I got my order of coffees yesterday. Is it raining? I feel like umbrellas. Make myself a coffee and some breakfast, and because I gotta go. I still have to pump and get myself dressed because I'm not dressed. I was watching a show and I pumped some milk for the gym. I always pump milk because they will feed the baby a bottle. If she's fussing too much, they'll call me, which I want to avoid because I don't want to have to leave my class to come and feed the baby. So I pumped. This is really not bad. I feel like in the mornings I don't get as much milk because especially recently, Abby has been feeding a lot more at night. I think she's going through a growth spurt. So I got about three ounces, which is typically enough to keep her happy for the two hours that she's at the gym. So I probably will still feed her before we go. It's 9.13 now and she's still sleeping, but I have to look at my... What's that? Where's the dog? Coco! 
don't know where she is because the door to my room is closed. She's not in my room. She's not here. Is she on the couch? Oh, she... <laughs> she's over there snuggled up on the couch and she's sitting here looking at me like, what's the problem? Look at this girl. Look at her. Hi, mama. Hi, cutie pie. I always forget to check for her on the couch because she wasn't allowed on the couch until recently. She's still not allowed on our main couch, but we let her sit on that couch because no one sits on it. So I always forget, but that's where she is. My abs are so sore. I did a heated Pilates class yesterday and my abs are sore today. I have a bar class, so it does work your abs a lot, but I feel like it's more of like a leg workout. So my abs should get some time to chill until my next Pilates class on Wednesday. I'm gonna make myself a little bowl of granola. All right, so these are my ingredients for my granola bar, for my, I keep calling it a granola bar, for my granola bowl. What do you call it? Yogurt bowl? Whatever. So I have this, um, I just use regular yogurt. I don't use Greek yogurt anymore, honestly, because regular yogurt is so much cheaper. It's $7, I think, for two of these tubs at Costco. And I put some kind of fruit. I have these blueberries still. And then I do, since it's plain yogurt, I do put some honey in it just to give it a little bit of sweetness. And then I use this Harvest Crunch um, granola, light and crisp honey nut flavor. So, there's no bowls, of course. Put these in the dishwasher right now. This is what I like to eat just on days where I don't want like a heavy breakfast, like a bagel or eggs <clears throat> or anything like that. I'll just have a granola bowl because it's, it's lighter. Like this is something that I like to eat before going to work out because I don't like feeling all bloated and like my stomach is full. And then I do my honey. Honestly, look not the greatest so i'm gonna just skip the blueberries so there's my bowl it's pretty boring today because i don't have any fruit in it but this should keep me until i get back from the gym so i'm gonna eat this and i have to get dressed i'll probably talk to you guys in the car because i have to get dressed feed abby get abby dressed pack my bag do all the stuff and I have until 10 to actually be at the gym. So I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Alrighty, we are in the car headed to the gym I'm running so late but honestly it's not that bad because my class doesn't start till 10 30 my reservation for the baby is at 10 and it's 10 02 but I'm only like five minutes away from the gym so I should be there shortly it's crazy the weather is like so weird because it's hot and like this part of the sky is there's like no clouds like it's clear skies but then the other way it's like dark and gloomy and like there's like lightning and thunder so i'm gonna do a bar class um b-a-r-r-e i thought it was barre i guess that's the french in me coming out when i want to call it barre i keep calling it barre but it's called bar so what bar is is it's kind of a mix of like some pilates movements and ballet so they even do like the positioning, like first position, second position, releve, like all those little ballet things. So, but it is such a workout. Like after my first bar class, the next morning I woke up and my legs and my butt were so sore. Like I'm used to working out like lifting weights and it literally felt like I had squatted, like bar squatted the day before that's how sore my body was after doing a bar class so it is a crazy good workout I burn I actually burn more calories according to my watch I burn more calories in a bar class than I do in a Pilates class which is really good but I would like to be going Monday to Friday because I do take the weekends off but I could 
take Thursdays off and go Saturdays because there's a Pilates class Saturday. Our Saturdays have been so busy. The boys have been going to birthday parties for the past, like, I'd want to say four or five weeks in a row. They've had, well, first it was Simon's birthday party. He went to a birthday party the day before it was his party. They've been going to birthday parties all week. They went to another birthday, last, birthday party last weekend. And then, shoot, I need gas. And then this weekend, Mike's uncle is having a little barbecue pool party at his house, so that's what we're gonna be doing on Saturday. Then the next weekend is gonna be Canada Day weekend. And then the weekend after that is another birthday party, and hopefully after all of that, it'll be over because I would like to have a Saturday free of doing things. Because before, the boys were doing basketball on Saturdays, so we never had any free time on Saturdays, so. We're still waiting for our Saturdays to free up. It's busy. Ooh, is that a spot right there? Yeah, buddy. Because there's no parent parking. This is just as good if I don't hit the curb. Hit the curb. Okay, so I gotta go drop Miss Abby Girly at her class. Is she pooping right now? Because, like, girl, it is not the time. <laughs> it's 10.06. I can go and run and change her and then... Yeah, girl. I am going to go inside because now I have to change the diaper. Okay. Hello, I am back from the gym. Just leaving now. Whew. That was a really good workout. That bar class is like the best. And once this is my fourth, third? I think this is my third or fourth bar class. And now that I kind of know what to expect, it's so much easier. I'm so hot. It's now 33 degrees outside. I think when I was coming here, it was like 23. Abby's in the back, making her noise. Yeah, so I'm going straight home. I'm not stopping at the grocery store. Oh. And after I did my class, so it was a 45 minute class, I still had 30 minutes till I had to go get Abby. So I went and I did 15 minutes on the treadmill. Nothing too crazy, just walking. I think I was going at like a 2.7 with like a 7 incline, so that's not fast at all. My heart rate was like 140. I was like walking upstairs to go to my class. I get a call from the boys' school. I was like, are you kidding me right now? But it was just that Jackson got his shirt wet. I'm guessing he like dumped his water bottle on himself or someone else's water bottle on them, but they said it wasn't completely soaked. But like in those moments, why call me? Like, why not be like, okay, Jackson, your shirt will dry. You're not gonna die. Your mom doesn't need to come here. Because if I was sitting at home, even if I wasn't busy, because I told him, I was like, I wouldn't be able to be there for like two hours. So, like, even if I was able to go there, why do I need to go because he spilled water on his shirt? They just love calling me for everything. I don't know if it's him that asked them to call me or if, they, if he just goes to the office or what, but it's really annoying. So I'm back home now. Abby fell asleep for like two minutes in the car and now she will not go down for a nap. I fed her and I put her in her crib. She's like sitting up and moving around. So I'm hoping that she'll eventually just lay down and go to sleep. I'll give her about, I don't know, five, 10 minutes. If she starts crying, I'll go up and I'll feed her again and try to get her down. But for right now, she's just moving around. I'm so hungry, I need a shower. Um, but since she's still awake, I'm not going to go and shower, so I figured I would eat something, but I don't know what to eat. I've been eating a lot of eggs recently, and I don't really feel like eating eggs. Maybe I'll just make eggs and a bagel. We literally have two eggs. I need to go to Costco so badly.
Alrighty, so I'm back. I have showered and Abby is still sleeping. Where's the baby one? Yeah, she's fast asleep. So now I'm gonna start doing my meal prep. Last time I did chicken thighs with like taco seasoning on them and then I did sweet potatoes and I did a bunch of peppers and onions. But this time I'm switching it up a bit. So I'm switching up my protein. I'm gonna stick with sweet potatoes as my carb and I'm switching up my veggies too. So I'm gonna be doing sweet potatoes and this time I'm doing some fish. So I got some tilapia and my veggies are gonna be asparagus. So it's time to do this. Um, I'm gonna start with the sweet potatoes because those take the longest. I'm gonna just throw them in the oven. So let me get the oven started. So I'm gonna wash the sweet potatoes and I'm gonna cut them up. I think I'm gonna do them the same as last time. I was considering doing them in the air fryer, but honestly, I'm being lazy right now. I'm gonna just throw them in the oven. That's the easiest, quickest way. And the asparagus is gonna go in the oven too, but it doesn't take as long as the potatoes, so I will do those after. I always find that it makes it way easier to lose weight when I do meal prepping because then the hardest, one of the biggest parts of losing weight is you're eating. So you have to be eating clean if you're gonna lose weight. And it's a lot harder when you're really, really hungry, like let's say when you get home from the gym, to wanna sit there and cook a meal, you'll end up snacking on things. Well, I end up snacking on things. So I would much rather have food there ready in the fridge for me to just throw, you can warm it up on the stove, you can warm it up in the microwave, or you can warm it up in an air fryer. But that, I just cut that so bad. That always makes it so much easier for me. I notice as soon as I have food there ready to go that I lose weight way easier. I am still breastfeeding, so I'm not gonna be cutting my calories or doing any calorie counting because I'm still trying to keep up my milk supply and it's not worth it for me to lose my milk supply just to lose weight. So that is why I'm doing it like this. Other times before when obviously I wasn't breastfeeding, I did calorie count and it is a really good way to lose weight. So if you're not breastfeeding, you can cook up all your food and then get an app like MyFitnessPal or whatever. I don't know what's being used these days. When I was counting calories, it was MyFitnessPal. Whatever calorie tracker app that you want to use, you do that and then you can portion it out. So count up, look up how many calories is in whatever serving, like 100 grams of sweet potatoes. I don't know how much that really is. But you would look that up on your app and then portion it out, you know, fit it to whatever your needs are, however many calories, carbs you're gonna eat a day. And you do all of that and it really, really helps you stay on track. Okay, so my sweet potatoes are all cut up. There they are, looking nice and orange. So with these, I literally just drizzle some olive oil on them and I think last time I put black pepper and it was a nice amount of spice. This is just parchment paper. I do prefer to use parchment paper over tin foil because it doesn't stick. So this is gonna be for my lunch. For my dinner, I'm gonna be prepping a salad, but I I'm gonna alternate between eating the salad and also eating dinner because I still have to cook dinner for my whole family. This is olive oil. Just drizzle that on it. And then I'm gonna just put some salt. And some black pepper. I like black pepper, I like spicy, so. Perfect. I can't believe it's already two o'clock. I feel like the day has just gone by so quickly. The boys will be home in an hour. So I gotta hurry up. So the oven is still not yet at 400, so I'm gonna just put these over here. 
And then I'm going to prep the asparagus now. I might as well, even though I'm not going to be putting it in the oven just yet. I love asparagus. It's so good. Just going to dry them a bit here. This one's a little mashed up. Okay, so I'm going to lay them out on here. Oh, are they too big? No, they're good. They are like just big enough. Okay. Let me show y'all so you can see. Yeah. Okay, so lay out my asparagus. I was looking online at gardening stuff and I heard that asparagus literally grows like this out of the ground like that. That would be so cool to see. I should plant some asparagus. I wonder how you even plant them. Like, can you buy asparagus seeds somewhere? Where, what would be the seed of the asparagus? Anyways. Um, I look like I'm running out of space. I usually like to have them so that they're not like so close together so that they can get cooked properly, but I think that should be fine. Again, I'm gonna drizzle it with some. Okay, my oven is ready. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the sweet potatoes in the oven. So I'm gonna drizzle my asparagus with a little bit of olive oil again, and I'm gonna put some lemon juice on these. But I'm also going to do some salt and a little bit of pepper. Oh, shoot. Oh, there's potato, potato skin on my hand. Okay. I'm not doing as much pepper as the sweet potatoes because I don't want the spiciness to like be too overwhelming. And let's see if I have a lemon. I do, I do, I do. I don't think I'm gonna need the whole lemon. Like already that is a lot of juice. For the crust, I like to do just flour and some salt and pepper. And it usually sticks on to the tilapia really well. I have not had tilapia in a very long time. So I'm just gonna wash these off quickly I do love salmon but I got this I got all this tilapia from the grocery store for like $13 and this is gonna last me because I'll do a half of each piece per meal so this will last me six meals for $12 so it's not bad that's like $2 a meal whereas the salmon I was looking at it because it was right beside it the salmon was like $14 for it would be maybe three meals out of the salmon. So like I said, I'm gonna cut these in half. Cause that's about, that's like one meal. This one's a bit bigger. So I try to just cut it where it just So that is the amount of tilapia that I'm gonna be cooking up. Now for the little crust. So the only flour that I have is bread flour, but I don't think it's that much different than regular flour. So I'm going to, I think I'm gonna need another plate actually. Okay, so I just take a few scoops of flour and I'm gonna put it on the plate here. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of garlic powder and just sprinkle that in. 
Maybe a little too much. Can you really have too much garlic though? And then salt. I do like to give like a generous amount of salt because fish tastes better when it's salty. And then a little bit of black pepper. So that is gonna be like your crust. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take my fish and I'm gonna just dip it in the flour. Just like that. See, it's not like a thick crust is gonna be on it because the flour is not gonna stick to it like crazy. Like if you want a thicker crust, you could dip the fish in, um, in an egg first and then it will keep the, or like, yeah. You dip the fish in an egg first and then it will keep more of the flour on it but i don't want a heavy crust on it so that is how it looks you can kind of press it in a bit more to just make sure it's does some does stay on okay and then just kind of tap it off shake it off and then but you don't want to shake it off so that so all of it comes off so that's how your fish is going to look now it's just like a little bit of breading on it so then i'm going to do that with all the pieces of the fish and i'm not a big fish person i wasn't a big seafood person i guess i like seafood now ish i'm not a big fish person though like i like lobster and crab and shrimp and salmon like the only fish that i really like is like salmon and tilapia like white fish like this or like i'll eat um i eat sushi too but i don't do like the crazy fish like i'll do like salmon or like shrimp or what else I think that's pretty much it when I go for sushi. I just do like salmon or shrimp. But like in Jamaica, how they do, like how they just eat, like my mom will just eat like a red snapper, like just like a whole fish. No, I can't do that. I am not a fishy person at all. I don't like fish that much. I don't know, it's just the smell that gets me. Like the first time I tried sushi, I couldn't get over the like seaweed smell, how it just smells like the ocean. But then obviously I got over it and I was like, this is like the greatest thing ever. But I'm not a big seafoody person. I do, like I said, I'll eat lobster, like lobster tail and um, crab, I like those. But like to go and eat mussels and oysters and calamari, I really can't do it. I can't do it. It grosses me out. Um, I've never had oysters or mussels and I would not like to try it. I tried calamari twice in my life. One time I was in Spain and we went to a tapas restaurant and they had calamari. I thought it was onion rings, so I ordered one and then when I found out it was calamari, I was like, I'm not eating this. Cause when I bit it, I was like, this is not an onion ring. And another time we were out at a restaurant and Mike wanted me to try a calamari, piece of calamari. And I took like the tiniest bite and I just can't do it. It's the texture of it just grosses me out. So I'm not a calamari type of person. So I'm almost done breading my fish here. It's 2.15, that's not bad. See, this has been so quick. The thing too about being a mom is that you don't have a lot of time to always be sitting around making yourself healthy meals. So it's easy to end up snacking on junk that just takes no time to make. So this meal prep, I started at like two. Did I start at two? Has it been only 15 minutes? Maybe I started at minutes to two, but it really hasn't taken long at all. And I already am like pretty much done. I just have to fry up my fish and then that's it. So my hands are covered in flour. So this is the fish all breaded now. Breaded in quotation marks because it's not really breaded fish. So yeah, I do have a lot of flour left over that I'm just going to throw out. And I'm going to wash up my hands and then get this fish fried up. 
Oh, I hate this on my fingers. So you can either fry the fish in olive oil or in butter. I don't really think it matters. Obviously, like more calories if you do it in butter. I'm gonna do it in olive oil just because I want to. So I think my oil is good now. Could still wait a little bit longer. So yeah, this is pretty much all that I need to meal prep for this week. I'm gonna make that kale salad too. Okay, I never know with oil. I hate dealing with oil. I'm always scared that it's gonna be too hot. So I always end up putting things in earlier. See, it's not even sizzling yet, so it's not even hot enough. Seriously, okay, it's starting to get a little hot now. But that's so annoying. I did that so early. I just go with the flow. I don't measure anything out. I don't, like, measure out the oil or anything. So, we're just going with it. And, you know, change things as you need to while you're cooking. I think there's like a lump in the bottom of it so it doesn't sit flat on the stove anymore which is really annoying because then the oil just starts going everywhere else instead of going in the middle but that's okay it's starting to get kind of brownish i used to kill fish like this when i was dieting like years ago after I had Jackson before I had Simon I would eat so much tilapia it's such a good fish to eat okay now this is the hard part when you want to flip it because you don't want to just like slap it down in the hot oil but it's also fish so it gets a little crumbly I don't know what I'm doing right now I need a spatula fish now like i said if you want like a thick crust on your fish just dip it in egg first and then put it in the flour so more of the flour stays on it i'm gonna throw in the asparagus So happy that Abby is still sleeping. The baby mother is dying though. Sleepy girl. I'm happy I'm finally doing this because I have been slacking so badly since the last time I did my meal prep and I finished all the food. It's been so bad. So I'm getting back on track because I still would like to have a decent shape by the summer, before the summer is over. And I'm going to cut up some lemon too to go inside it, inside, not inside it, but just to go in my little meal prep containers because I love lemon with fish. Lemony fish is delicious. The boys get home in half an hour. I feel like taking them to the splash pad today since it's so hot out. Kids are gonna come home and smell fish and be like, what are we having for dinner? They're so scared to eat fish, like terrified. The nice thing about tilapia too is it has a bit of a fishy smell, but it's not like crazy, it's not overwhelming. Like I just have the fan on, so shouldn't smell like fish too bad in here. And I just have them on this little plate here with the uh, paper towel just to, you know, pick up some of the oil, sop up some of the oil. 
the potatoes and asparagus are cooking so nicely. I'm not even hungry still though. Like I ate, yeah, I ate right when I got home from the gym. I had some of those eggs and bagel and I'm not hungry. My camera is at 12% because I've been filming all day. So hopefully you can wait a little bit just so I'm done this meal prep. So all the cooking is done. That literally took me like 40 minutes to prep up all that food. Now I'm gonna put it away. I have these little glass containers and they may look small, but this full of food is like, I'm actually full from that. So I'm gonna portion it all out into here. And then I'm done. So first up, I have the sweet potato. So I'm just gonna grab a bunch of these. And like I said, I'm not tracking calories or anything. So I'm just like eyeballing it and trying to put an even amount in each container. like a lot of sweet potato. Let's see, which one could use a little bit more of this one. Okay, so that's done. And now I'm gonna do the fish. Here's all the fish. So I'm gonna try, I might need to cut some of them in half to fit it in there. So a little piece of fish. I don't even have space for the asparagus. Okay, so that is the fish and I have one piece left over. And now for the asparagus, I think I might have to chop them up. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. I have one, two, three, four, five. So if I leave out three, I'll do five in each piece. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So my plan of putting a little lemon in there with them is not going to work because these are absolutely so full. But here is my meal prep for the week. I'm not going to prep up a kale salad, but I have the kale. I'm just going to wash some kale and chop it up and get it in a container. And then I'll put the lemons that I have just in a little container in the fridge. So that is about it. I'm gonna let these cool off before covering them up and putting them in the fridge. And that was my meal prep. So that's about it for me for the morning. Um, 
Now I'm gonna go pick the boys up from the bus. Abby is still sleeping, so whenever she wakes up, I think I might head over to Costco. Not sure yet. Okay, so we are headed to Costco. I did decide that we we're gonna go to Costco today and hopefully it's not too busy. Right. And then maybe we'll go to a splash pad because it's so hot outside today. It would be the perfect day to go to the splash pad. I don't think we're gonna go to the gym. Um, the outdoor pool at the gym, probably not. Cause that takes so much more having to get changed and everything and all that. I was thinking that I didn't need a lot of stuff at Costco, but I do. I was hoping to just go in with the stroller, but I think I'm gonna have to bring the, get a cart. And I hope I have my Costco cart. Uh, just to make it easier because I have to get um, I'm gonna be getting milk so if I'm gonna be putting milk in a bag I like to not put a lot of other heavy stuff with it Cause it could no because it's just too heavy to carry so I'd rather just split it up into two bags Splash pad. The boys are overplaying. Actually, Simon is on the park uh, at the park, and Jack is at the splash pad. And I'm just here chilling with Abby. There she is. Hello. So we finished up at Costco, and then we came home, and I just emptied out the dishes, and then I was like, "Hey, let's get here before it gets too late, and I have to go make dinner." So. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> So I told the boys we stay here until around 6 o'clock and then we'll head home and I'll make dinner. It's such a nice day out. I'm so surprised the park is more busy. But it's like dead. I guess people don't really love the heat. I love the heat though. I could take this every day for the whole year. It's so nice though. I love being able to do this. I can't wait for the summer when I can take the boys out all the time. This one's dumping now to you guys. So we're now back from the park. Um, Mike came and met us there actually, so he's with the boys. Cause I had to come home and I need to make dinner. Oh, looks like they're here now too. Yeah. 
Good morning guys as you can probably tell it is the next day last night i was so tired and i just ended up after the boys went to bed i ended up doing some laundry and then just going to bed myself so i didn't get to say bye to you guys yesterday but i didn't want to close off the vlog without saying goodbye thank you so much for watching my video i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my future videos and check out my shorts too if you like shorter form content so all of my shorts are obviously under a minute and i do do a lot of day in the life with me so if you like that kind of content don't forget to check that out don't forget to leave a like and leave me a comment let me know what you thought about my video if there's anything that you would like me to record in the future let me know and i'll see you guys in my next video bye